After 16 whole days killing 272 zombies, Chester is finally ready to begin massive amounts of construction. Anyways, welcome back to the Trailer Park Challenge. I'm pretty bored, and I'm a little bit sad, but that's not gonna stop me from pulling off all of my goals for this episode, which is gonna be building a massive, massive wall. And holy crap, is there a massive wall of fog out here as well? If you guys remember last episode, we chopped down a bunch of trees. And when I mean a lot, I mean a lot. So it's gonna be pretty easy of just grabbing these log piles, grabbing some ripped sheets, and slapping them together to make art. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Let's go grab our sheets, and let's begin stacking. You know, I think it finally clicked in Chester's head. This is gonna be a lot of work. The fog has finally cleared out and we have developed a small part of our wall and it's looking pretty fantastic. I'll run you through what I actually do, but first let's talk about my, uh, my debuffs. We are exhausted, we are tired, and we are hungry. So before we do anything else, let's go grab a quick bite to eat. By the way, our food reserves are getting very very low. If you guys couldn't tell, there is barely any perishable food left, and the perishable food we do have is in our freezer. So yeah, it's not looking too good. We do have a stockpile of non-perishable food, but it's still a it's still a scary thing to think about, but but we're chilling now, and if worst comes to worst, I did dig for worms. Matter of fact, we have the evidence all over the damn place. Another thing I will do is remove these furrows here in order to make the back area a little bit more pleasing. But yeah, all I'd basically do is walk all the way down to our lumber pile, grabbing three or so for log stacks, waddling our way down so I can unstack the logs about where I want to build. And once I'm done with that, I'll drop off the remaining logs, drop off our sheet rope on the pile, It's as simple as that, and as you see, it's gotten us through quite a bit of work. I think this is a good amount of log walls to place, as I'm gonna need to place even more around the area, so yeah. I'm pretty happy with this. Let's go remove the furrows in order to make the back area more aesthetically pleasing, and once we're done with that, I'm actually gonna go grab the sheet ropes and restack logs right on top. I am a little bit worried that we won't have enough lumber to go around, but we still got, you know, quite the number. And if worst comes to worst, we do have about half of the durability left in our fire axe. By the way, I am so grateful that you can actually remove furrows because uh, if I could not, it would bother me until no end. And it also opens up the opportunity of actually digging for infinite worms, right? It does take up a lot of space, but if you have the time for it, you can definitely just dig out furrows, remove the furrows, and then re-dig them out again if you are a masochist, which, which, come on, <laughs> I'm playing the trailer park challenge. If it comes to it, I will. Oh, and one last thing, I will not be foraging today as we are very tired and exhausted, and if you didn't know, that affects our foraging rates pretty, pretty badly. So I really don't want to, you know, risk that right now, and maybe giving, you know, the trailer park a full day to respawn loot tables would be beneficial for the both of us, so yeah. When we do wake up tomorrow, and if it isn't storming and or foggy out, we're gonna do just that. Now let's stack some logs. Bingo! Now that's looking a little bit more organized. The only thing that is not organized is Chester's breathing patterns right now. By the way, doing all of this manual labor and foraging has been fantastic for our body as we are losing weight and we are about three kilos away from actually becoming uh, a normal weight. Another thing that I did realize is that our uh, feet are infected, so I'm gonna remove the stitch and see if the wounds have finally healed. They have not. They're just scratched though, which means I can actually remove the stitches to let them heal properly, disinfect them, and then bandage them over. We're ridiculously tired, we're exhausted, and I think we've earned a break. Oh, I'm so excited to forage once again. Roll the RNG, see what I find, but that's gonna have to wait. Where is my alcohol wipes? There we are. We'll just disinfect these, and I will see you tomorrow. And by tomorrow, I mean right now. Welcome, everyone. Today, 17. 
Our bandages are dirty, but I think if I remove them, they will be clean. There we are. It's like I never, ever stepped into glass. Stepping outside also reveals a very clear and bright day. No fog, no thunderstorms, which is prime foraging weather. Oh boy, I can't wait to see what I find. Oh, by the way, it looks like I did forget to pick up a couple of uh, stacked logs. Don't blame me, though, because, you know, it was very foggy out and very hard to see. But let's see if we can, uh, you know, improve our peepers and find some cool stuff within the trash. By the way, don't get too confused by a bunch of the false positives. Those are just the twigs and random branches in the way. The real stuff is... <laughs> Hello there. Well, well, well. It looks like waiting an extra day was worth it after all. Is that an entire gas can? It doesn't say empty either. No way. <laughs> yes way! That is a almost filled up gasoline can just in the trash, dude. This gives me so much hope. B before I was getting worried that all I would find is trash, but this is the kind of stuff that would actually save a normal Project Zomboid run. And I just found it in these paper tissues, this paper. Oh, 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 we are so back. We also got a baseball. I mean, it's not as cool, but it's still pretty freaking rad. What else we got here? We got a stone. Oh, by the way, I know I was just about to begin with the whole montage thing that I usually do, but before I do do that, I'm going to change Chester's uh, search focus as I kind of want to find more cool stuff like the gas can. So we're going to switch it over to trash and hopefully by doing that, we're gonna have a better chance of finding bits and baubles that interest me. We probably won't find as many branches or stones, but that's a risk I'm willing to take when I can find literally entire gasoline canisters filled with gasoline. Now it's time to get back onto the grind as we have more stones, twigs, cigarettes, a wine glass with even more cigarettes, chipped stones, a jump scare zombie. I didn't scream audibly, but holy hell, dude. This is supposed to be like my zen moment. This is supposed to be when I'm like in my peaceful mode, you know, speeding up time, doing my little thing, and that just set me off the rocker. We still have a bunch to loot, though, so I'm not gonna let that stop me from finding gold, damn it. We got lemongrass, blueberries, more stones, yet another garbage bag. An oven mitt, another baseball, a tennis ball, and a fresh new addiction, which is foraging. Overall, we got what we usually would find, which is junk, but we did find a diamond in the rough, which is the gas can. I, 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 I am still, like, shook at the fact that I can find a, a, a gas can out here. When I find a gas can, that makes me believe that I can also find a generator manual and maybe even a generator in the future. I've heard of people finding cars, so, you know, who knows? We're gonna see. Anyways, is there anything cool inside of these trailers? If not, we're gonna go grab a bite to eat and we are gonna continue slapping down the walls to see how far that whole tree chopping episode actually got us. I I'm just keeping foraging mode on just, just for like the small chance that there is something. <gasps> Oh my. Okay, it looks like the trash inside the trailers also spawn stuff as well. That means I'm not done. I gotta check them all now. Big money, big money, big money. Come on, game. You know you wanna give it to me. Hey, we got a lighter. Oh my god, a zombie! <laughs> By the way, I've been trying to clean up the, uh, the, the trailers so I don't get as many false positives, as I do want to include this into my daily routine, especially finding glue. That glue could be a, a gun for all I know in the next few bits, but I think this zombie actually got up from the, you know, massive corpse pile on the ground, so let me push you right back down and let you join your friends once again. Nice try, lady. I'm also gonna... I could burn down the corpses, but, um, the main thing I'm gonna do is drop off actually do i want to drop it off yeah i'm gonna drop off all the clothing here just in case i need anything later because i don't know if i have enough ripped sheets and you know better safe than sorry especially when the corpses are starting to decay you know I'm, I'm just covering my bases, especially with uh, how little I have around here. Overall, though, I haven't found much inside of the trailers. I think the only one that will give me stuff is going to be the one that actually has trash within it. Oh, man, I really killed a lot of zombies here. 
But I gotta say, with a lot of zombies comes a lot of damn clothing. I basically have a mini store in here with all of the strapless bras and lipstick you could ever ask for. Including some digital watches, which I will dismantle later. Uh, Chester's not really much of an electrician. A forger, I am though. Hey, we also picked up a nice little farming magazine, which would teach me... Uh, mildew cure and fly cure. Not bad. That seems to be it though. Let's go head back to our home, grab a quick little tub of ice cream, and build out the rest of the walls for as much as I can until resources says I can't anymore. Which hopefully should finish off at least this half here. I'm probably gonna have to cut through the farm or at least on the edge of the farm, avoiding the trash so I can keep that on the outside. And then once we cut in, I'm just going to do a nice little loop right in here and bada boom, we will have a fully enclosed house. With no gate, sadly, because I don't have a saw to actually process the logs with. So let's eat these berries and slap some walls down. Well, that's all the mileage we're going to get out of that massive pile of logs. As you see, I have wiped out every single log. All that remains are branches, which I will need to grab later in order to make stone axes. But yeah, we're about, uh, give or take. Oh man, we still got a little bit, but you know, we're a solid 60% done, two thirds of the way there. As you see, I did have to cut into the trash pile by a little bit, but that's fine. I can always go into our garden to loot as well. And I think we made some pretty good progress. Uh, we're definitely gonna have to chop down some trees. So what I'm thinking that we're gonna do tomorrow, right? We're gonna go to sleep. We're gonna do our nice little foraging run. And once we're done with foraging, I'm going to go make up a bunch of stone axes and chop down as many trees as I can get my little hands on. And in order to make things a little bit easier for me, I think we're going to chop down this swath of trees here. Yeah, 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 this sounds like a plan. Oh boy, can't wait to see what I find tomorrow. And yes, if you're wondering, <laughs> I really did place my gas can right next to where I sleep. Because whenever I wake up in the morning, I'm reminded that within every single trash pile, there could be some gold. All I am is one big hit away from reaching the diamonds, and I gotta remind myself that every day. I will see all of you tomorrow to when we kick it off instantly. So what in tarnation do we have in our fine trailer park today? Tree branches, mushrooms, another fishing trap, a teddy bear, hell yeah! Some more twigs, more stones, an empty bottle, another wine glass, about a million maggots, some leather strips, and a group of zombies. I don't know where the hell they got in through, but they are already here, so how about we go take out the trash? Not the good kind that spawns loot, by the way. Matter of fact, I'm wrong on that statement. These zombies do give me some loot. We'll round them up somewhere a little uh, out of the way so I don't have to look at them. And uh, we'll kill the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. Eight zombies, sorry. Though the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm getting a very dubious thought. Whenever these zombies hop over a fence line, they deal a little bit of damage to said fence line. Now, I would just go ahead and disassemble the fences, but if you look here, we need a saw or a garden saw. So how about, instead of killing the zombies right now, I let them hop over this fence so they can create me a nice... Uh, free plank! That way I don't have to disassemble it and both sides win. How does that sound? Pretty good? Pretty good. Listen, when you're in the trailer park and you don't have a damn saw, <laughs> you, you gotta take everything you can get in order to get a single damn plank out here. It's rough. It's really rough. So rough that we have to conscript random zombies in order to help me do menial chores around my house. There we are! That's the sound of progress, baby! <laughs> yeah. We do that a few more times and we got ourselves a free, easy four planks. Dude, I'm so freaking smart. <laughs> okay, now you can die for me. Hell yeah, we also leveled up uh, sprinting on the way, so we are a little bit faster. And it looks like we're gonna be getting some fat loot on these zombies. We got ourselves a walkie-talkie with some scissors, which I will use right now to shave off my beard back to a mustache. 
And aside from an extra pair of scissors and some digital watches, that's gonna be it for the zombies. Nothing too crazy, but hey, I'll take a free walkie-talkie when I can. And now that we've done that, it's time to craft up a bunch of stone axes so I can go ahead and chop down even more trees. By the way, the goal for this episode is to enclose the base about 80% of the way in, so that way I do still have an entrance as I can't craft a gate, but it's a bit more defended and a lot less prone to rogue zombie attacks like the one I saw just before. It is 1.30, so all I'm going to be doing is bulk crafting stone axes and chopping. A whole bunch of chopping, breaking, and getting exhausted. What a fun day. Well, I guess I'll see the rest of y'all tomorrow. Today should be a day of celebration, but it is also a day of loss. We chopped down a lot of trees, but it did come at a price. And that was the life of my dear, dear fire axe. It is now broken, and while I can repair it with duct tape, I would much rather save it for wood glue if I can ever forge it, because I know you can actually forge it. And if you were to ask me between uh, K and the axe, I cared more about the damn axe. <laughs> but yeah, we got a bunch of logs down, and hopefully that should be enough to complete this small circuit of walls. And if it isn't, uh, I'm gonna call it a damn day because I broke a bunch of stone axes. But before I do, do that, you already know what time it is. It's time to hit that old RNG grind. What do we got today? We got stones, pop cans, tree branches, another propane tank. Hey, I'll take it. Nails from our whole zombie escapade with shoes. Those aren't shoes off a zombie. Those are just normal shoes from foraging. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty rad. A cat toy, some twigs. And that seems to be it, though I am starting to see a small pattern when it comes to these things as I find a bunch of junk, and then out of nowhere you just find something like a propane tank. Oh, one thing that I would really like is a box of nails, but beggars really can't be choosers. It's time to stack up all of the logs with our sheet ropes and then slap them down, which is going to be the end of the episode, so let's get right to work. At least we won't have to worry about fuel. <laughs> That's pretty cool, I guess. Let's just get this bread. Boom. That gives me another, I would say, 20 walls or so to drop down. And it is still 7.20 p.m., so how about we do that right now? All I'm going to be doing is leaving our uh, sheet rope pile on the outside here just for ease of use. And all I'm going to be doing is picking up one of the log piles, dropping it down, unpacking them, and building from there. I think I'm going to cut it off as soon as I hit two off of the... Actually, the way I should do it is go in from the way I started and then work from there. I'm probably going to have to move like the car and the couch out of the way, which I'll do right now. And then it's just going to be a big old slap, I guess. Yeah, that's the best way to call it. Thankfully, the graves of the recently fallen makes a very good parking spot for our car. And there you have it. We now have a wall surrounding our entire trailer. It took us another day, so Chester is currently on day 20, but in a little under a month, we have finally gotten a little bit of peace and a semblance of safety. Now, sadly, I can't create a gate yet, but we'll get to that when I actually have nails and a saw. If I ever get one, that is, I would say this is good enough to end the episode. We still have some leftover wood, and by leftover wood, I mean we have like nine logs left over, so it's a good thing we finished it off, and I definitely could enclose it, but I need to get in. So yeah, if you guys have liked this episode, be sure to share, hit the bell icon, subscribe, do whatever you can, because I really need it. Because now begins the real slow crawl of just 
relying on foraging and fighting off hunger. I will see all of you on the next episode. Peace the hell out, everyone.